Let's try to create a water sprinkler system using Raspberry Pi Pico W and IoT. Now, water sprinkler system is basically useful whenever you are going out of town, you are away from your home and you need to take care of your plants. In any such needs, you will require this kind of project and it's very simple to build. Uh, it, is, it is built in literally like 10 minutes or so if you have the right tools and you can start using it right away. <coughs> so, let's see. First of all, the parts needed for a IoT based plant water sprinkler is Raspberry Pi Pico W board that I am using here. You might need a 12 and 5 volt power supply for the relay board as well as a water pump. I am using a DC water pump which is found commonly in the water filters. Then you need a single channel relay board, you need a breadboard and you need a connecting wires. By single channel relay board what I mean to say is something like this. They are very easily available in market and you can use them. If you don't have a single channel relay board and if you have a two channel relay board, that is fine too. I am using a two channel relay board myself. So that's the part list that you need. And on the software side, what you are going to need is this. So you need a Thony installed on your computer. And you must know the basics of code downloading or running MicroPython on Pico W board. If not, you can refer to a previous video in this playlist and you can take a look at it. <laughs> then you are going to use the Blink IoT platform for this project. So simply create a Blink free signup account over here on this platform. <clears throat> now let's see how to create a circuit diagram for this and how do we make this project work. So this is the circuit diagram for this project. Circuit diagram is basically very simple. All you need is a single channel relay board. The detailed circuit diagram of the single channel relay board is shown here. What you need to do is you need to connect a single wire from your Raspberry Pi Pico W board GPIO pin to the input of this relay switching board. All we are going to do from internet is we are going to make a particular pin go high and low. But we have a relay connected to that pin to which we have connected a water pump in this configuration so that it will plant or it will simply water our plants. And we are also going to do it all from a mobile application as well. So this is the circuit that you need. Now let's try to create your IoT configuration platform or let's try to create the IoT itself. <laughs> Now, as I said, you need this Blink account. So when you line, sign up on this service, Blink.cloud, you will see a blank template over here. Okay. Now, a template is nothing but a piece of settings that you want to keep on your cloud, which you can replicate for your devices. So what do you need to do first is simply create on <coughs> new template. Give it some name, like I'm going to give it my water sprinkler using Pico W. Select the hardware, we don't have ESP32, so simply select other because Pico W is not in this list at least till now and keep the connection type as Wi-Fi, that's it. All you need to do is click on done here and you are done. Now, please don't get afraid by all the different things that you see here, there is nothing to worry about. You have created your uh, template over here, you can go to metadata read some more things and get more confused. I suggest don't do that. Simply go to data streams. <clears throat> now, what data streams are we going to need? We are simply going to need this one connection from the GPIO pin to the real. Additionally, just for the sake of fun, what we'll do is we'll have the LED which is present on Pico W board controlled from this platform as well. Let's do that. So click on new data stream over here. You need to select this virtual pin. Remember, this is a template. So, have a virtual pin selected here. Name it something. So, I'll just name it as a relay. That is my water pump relay. I will connect it to virtual pin V1. It doesn't matter. You can connect to V0 also. <clears throat> there is no unit. Main value is 0. Max value is 1. Create. That's that. Let me create another data stream. Again, virtual pin. This time, let me call it my LED and I'll connect it to pin V2. 
Again, no other change. Min value is 0, max value 1. That's that. Create. Now what you have done is, you have created a template of device. You have created two pins in that template. Both of them are virtual pins, V1 and V2. We'll see how it goes and how it connects to the PicoW programming. Now let me go to web dashboard and let me have a switch here. So web dashboard is nothing but a place where you can connect various widgets as you can see here. We are in the free account. So there are a limited number of widgets available in free account. But I guess that's enough for us. I'll just need two switches. One for LED and one for relay. <coughs> so I've got my switches here. Let's go to their settings. Title, let me call it relay and data stream, let me connect it to relay that is virtual pin V1, on value 1, off value 0. So save it, then this other one, I will go to settings of this also, let me call it LED, <coughs> let me connect it to the data stream LED, on value 1, off value 0, all set. So, we have created a complete template with virtual pins and a virtual dashboard also. Just click on save here. Now, what we have done is we have created a full template of what we want to create in real life. Now, what you need to do is you need to connect this template to your particular device or create a device to which you want to connect this template. So, go to this search box over here. Click on new device. Choose the device from template and apply this template to it. My water sprinkler is in Pico W. That's it. Now your device is created. In your device programming, if you use this authentication token and connect to the Blinkit servers, you will be able to use these services directly. Let me copy this authentication code and let me keep it in notepad file. Now I'm going to show you the program for it and I don't want you to be confused looking at the program. The code for this particular project will be consisting of two parts. One is the library program itself for Blinkit and another one is the main code which we want to run. Now I don't want you to be get confused with understanding the library program at least for now. Don't do that. Simply copy this whole code as it is given along with this video and save it on your PicoW board with a name called blinklib.py. Let me show you how do we do that. Just you need to name it blinklib.py. So, okay, my thony I suppose is hung up a little bit. Let me close and reopen my thony. All right. Now let me open those programs from my Raspberry Pi Pico. Blink lib.py and trial blink code.py. These are the two codes I am giving to you. So this is a library code. You don't have to do anything with this. Just save it as it is and name it blink lib.py. It's saved. Close it. Now this is your main program and this is interesting. You definitely should go through it. What we have done here is import time. Import network, from machine import pin and then import that blink lib. Next what we do is we are connecting to the Wi-Fi as this is my Wi-Fi SSID and this is my Wi-Fi password. First one is SSID or Wi-Fi name, second one is password. And then you need to mention your Blinkit authentication code here. So I'll just delete this code and I will copy the one which I have got from here. So I have got this from here. Okay. O starts from O and ends with 6. So put that over here. That's that. Next, there is a program to connect to your Wi-Fi up to this point. And after that is our actual Blink code, which is very simple. All you do is you just create this object Blink and connect to the Blink servers using the authentication that you have. Once you have connected with the authentication, you can use the services connected to those virtual pins V1 and V2. So now for my connections here, I am declaring relay 1 pin and LED pin. So relay 1 pin is connected to GPIO1. If you go to the circuit diagram, you will see I am using GP1. 
So GP1 is mentioned over there in the code. And LED, I am going to use the onboard LED, which is present over there. So that's why simply <coughs> capital LED that addresses the onboard LED. Now, the way the code functions is once it is connected to the Blink servers, the program will keep running in this infinite loop of Blink.run. The moment something is received from servers to the device, these routines will be triggered. So, we have two routines written here at the red blink dot on v1 at the red blink dot on v2 you can have at the red blink dot on v0 v1 v2 whatever number of pins you found over there you can use any of those pins it doesn't matter all you do is those are virtual pins on which the server will create a trigger so when i go to my console or my dashboard of my device and when i click on relay one or led on or led off what happens is this is writing data to those virtual pins and those virtual pins trigger will come here and in your micro python you will be turning your relay one pin on relay one pin off or led pin on and led pin off here this is your choice how do you do it so as i said the code is very simple there isn't much to look into this code i'll simply run this code now now, my Wi-Fi is connected. I'm connecting to the Blinkit cloud over here. Now, all you need to do is simply go to this place here. Remember, if you go to your template and there is a dashboard here also, nothing will happen if you do on and off here. Remember, you need to do that. Go to search in your actual device. Okay. Now, this is relay on. This is LED on and LED off. Now I want to show it to you. Okay. So I'll just do one thing. I'll use my camera for now and I'll show you my entire setup. Although I think the water is missing right now, but I'll fill it in. Don't worry. So this is my setup. Okay. The orange LED is totally redundant. I'm just using it for effect. So ignore it. Okay. The actual connection is very simple. As I told you, I'm using a two channel relay board because I don't have a single channel relay board. My PicoW board, this relay has connections over here made exactly shown in circuit diagram with this water pump. I'll be some submerged into this jar or a bottle and this is my plant. The whole connection, the whole setup is very interesting and simple. So this is a water jar. The water pump is submerged in here. Then I have connected this water pump and this is the end of this water pump which will go into my plant and then here is the entire circuit setup. So I just want you to show it first. Okay, I will keep this window connected to right hand side and keep this window connected to the left hand side. So if you see, I will just click on the relay on button here and see how instant is the action. You will hear the sound of motor. Relay. Let's turn it off. Let's try to turn the LED on and off. Yep. LED on. LED off. This is the motor inside the jar. Relay on. Relay off. As simple as that. Now give me some time so that I'll fill it with water and get back here. So I'll just adjust it for now. Yeah, now this is a good thing. Yeah. I can see it here. Camera is set. Now I am back. Now if you see, this is my water jar. It's it's filled up to this level, and the motor is submerged. Pump is submerged into it. Okay, and here is my plant. Here is my pipe. Ideally, when you deploy such a project, this water jar should be replaced by your water tank. Simply put this kind of submersible pump in your water tank and you can have your pipeline made like this. It can also go through multiple plants and you can also make holes into it for drip irrigation kind of thing. Now let's try it out. All said and done. So I have circuits right here. So I need to be cautious. I don't spill some water over here. I'll just hold my pipe like that and let's turn on the relay. 
from the web dashboard. So relay on, voila, relay off, relay on, relay off, as simple as that. Now all of this is done through your web application, okay. Now let's try to do something from the mobile application, shall we? So I'll just maximize this whole thing so that you can see or you can have a look at my mobile application. So let me open my phone. So here is my disturbance. I'll do DND so no notification disturbs me. So here is my mobile phone. Here is the Blink IoT app. Let me open that app. I have logged in. So you will see that profile right over here, the template right over here. All you need to do is simply click on here. Now you need to create a mobile user interface for your device. Simply click on this settings button here. No widgets yet. So let's go to add widget here. Let's add a single button. For now, that's all we want. Okay. Let me just increase its size. Okay. Now you can go to the settings of this button by clicking here. So this is how the button is. Which data stream you want to connect it to? I want to connect it to relay. How do you want it to be? Do you want it to be push? Like as long as you keep it pressed, relay will be on. The moment you leave it, relay will be off. You can keep it in push or you can keep it in switch. So switch is like press to on and press to on. That's that. As simple as that, really. I mean, you don't have to think much about it. So here is the pipe. I hope you can see the pipe. And here is my app. Okay. So let's press it. Sorry. Let me just go to back. So it comes into a dashboard kind of mode. Okay. So I'll just have it like this. Click on. You see the water started off. Again, better view. So on. on off as simple as that so with mobile application as well as with the web application you have seen how to create a complete sprinkler system the circuit diagram and the code everything is given along with this video i hope you will enjoy creating this project and if you face any issues or if you face any problems feel free to message me thank you for watching this video